and the next step is to identify the site of perforation. Well, the duodenum, particularly the second part of the duodenum, is a common site when you see free gas around the liver hilum, and that's where we would look at first. So I'll go through the normal anatomy with you. This is obviously stomach, part of the gastroduodenal junction, pylorus, D1, and then here is D2. So here you can see some free gas outside the duodenal lumen. So look at this area of the duodenum, just adjacent to this gas loculus. This is the mucosal lining of the duodenum, and just in this area you can see a defect in the mucosal lining of D2. That's where the perforation has occurred, and just next to it is some free gas. I'll scroll down to make it a bit easy for you to understand. So again, all of this is duodenum. This is third part of the duodenum. There is a gas loculus here, but this is covered by mucosa. It's not perforated in this area. But if we go back to the level of D2, look at this area. There is a perforation here, and then there is some gas outside. So this is the perforation at D2 level and um, in the majority of the cases when there is anterior perforation of the D2, the most common cause is a peptic ulcer.